Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Kai Horstman. I teach computer science at San Jose State University. I've been in and out of industry at times as well. Um, and I've been writing books for many, many years now. Um, the uh, book that most people are probably familiar with is Core Java that I wrote with Gary Cornell right when Java came out. Uh, in fact, even before Java came out. Um, and it's been an international bestseller. The book that I just finished is called Scala for the Impatient, and it is for those people who are impatient who want to get to Scala quickly without being lectured on why one should use the functional paradigm and why everything that you've been doing is wrong, which in fact it isn't. Scala is a wonderful language because it lets you do uh, the kind of object-oriented programming that you've come to know and love, and it introduces you to a new paradigm. Um, so I, I, I wrote the book because I was frankly impatient with what's out there. I wrote the book for someone who's already a competent programmer in Java uh, or C++. So when you open the book, it won't tell you what classes are, it won't tell you what functions are, it won't tell you what files are, it won't insult your intelligence. It'll just leverage the knowledge that you already have in uh, one of those traditional languages and it makes you uh, transition to Scala so that you can get going right away. It's also somewhat focused on uh, those things that have immediate payoff. So it teaches you how to work with files, with XML, the kinds of things that you need to do on a regular basis. Yeah, there really aren't any other books uh, like, like that on the market. They're the, the usual full language introduction that you know, tries to give you every aspect of the language, whether it's useful or not, uh, in epic breadth. And then the, the books that give you toy examples with apples and zoo animals and fruit hierarchies and all of that stuff that, that show you the mechanisms of the language without really explaining you how to put it to use in practice. So what I set out to do was uh, what I found when I first learned C with Kerning and Ritchie. And I love Kerning and Ritchie. When you look at that book and you look at the code samples, every bit of code that they put in the book looks like it came from uh, something that might be a real program not something that has toy examples. So I try to write it in the same way that uh, I would start with code snippets that came from something that, that I would actually put to use and of course simplify it so that it explains a particular subject but so that when an intelligent programmer who has experience looks at it, they immediately have context that they can leverage. There's uh, two ways of learning a language. One is to r read a book and gain the illusion of knowledge, and the other one is to actually learn it. And with what's nice with Scala and uh, how I try to approach the book is um, with Scala you have this uh, environment called the REPL, the read, eval, print loop, where you can type commands into a window and you get immediate feedback, unlike in a Java or C++ program where you have to first compile it and then run it. And uh, so, so you get this immediate feedback. It makes it much, much easier to pick up the language. So I would really encourage people when they uh, learn Scala to just have the REPL open, copy and paste if, if you have the electronic version of the book or just, just type it. Um, I actually provide the source code for everything so you don't have to type the thing. Just copy and paste it in, in, into the REPL and see what happens right away. Experiment with what you see and that way uh, you have the book to give you guidance as to how to start your experiments but you yourself can then go any way you want to go. Um, the second thing that uh, that the book really tries to encourage and uh, is uh, use Scala for for basic tasks. Um, when at one point I said I've got to learn Scala, and every time that I had to do any kind of a routine task, for example, one time I had a thousand H files and I had to change some of the URLs in them, I said I'm just going to write a Scala program. Scala is a scalable language and it scales wonderfully from the most mundane tasks to really complicated stuff. And so I found that by just forcing myself to, instead of using a shelf program or writing something quickly in Java, to just use Scala um, <clears throat> for those basic tasks, I really picked up the language pretty quickly. And that's another reason why I put in material about you know, how to do regular expressions, how to do files, how to do XML, because that's, of course, the bread and butter of those kinds of routine scripting tasks.